At the Sprott Natural Resource Symposium, we're with Theo Deshev, who is the president and CEO of Monduro Capital, trading on the Venture Exchange as MUN. Theo, thank you for being with us on Small Cap Power. Thanks very much for having us back. Thank you. Now, we want to talk about uh, the brief introduction of the company for those of us who don't know who you are. So, Monduro is an exploration focused company mm -hmm. in southeastern Europe. It's the Tethian Belt, it's the western portion of the Tethian Belt, and it's very well known for porphyry and epithermal systems. We got involved back in 2011, and at that time we staked a very large land package in eastern Serbia on the Timic Magmatic Complex, mm -hmm. where there are currently four active operating mines and one very well-known development project, which is Chukaru Peki, owned by Nevsen. And Mandora really had the good fortune of getting that ground position in 2011 before the Chukaru Peki discovery, and hence a really large land package mm -hmm. was open mm -hmm. and we staked that. Mm -hmm. And really since the last uh, few years, since 2011, we've been building a data set, uh, exploring that package and have now joint ventured part of that package to JOGMEC, which is the uh, Japanese oil and gas metal economics okay. corporation. And uh, that's been a tremendously good opportunity because it has allowed us to um, basically expedite the exploration, mm. do more exploration okay. spending. So this year, we just counted it. It's going to be approximately uh, 13 and a half thousand meters of drilling that's going into the ground. And what we have so far is one discovery in uh, in Borsko mm -hmm. and another porphyry discovery in Jeleznik. Right. And are those drill results something that is public right now? Absolutely. The discovery at Borsko was announced in February of this year. Mm -hmm. It's a very large alteration system that we've hit, uh, 750 meters. We do have intersections of mineralization as well. And basically the way that these uh, porphyries work is that you know, the center core is called the potassic core. That's where your metal content is. And then outside of that, you get rings of alteration. And you know where in the alteration you are based on those rings. So if you are in the inner propolytic, mm -hmm. you know that you're that much closer to the potassic core. And that's what we've discovered. We've hit a uh, propolytic zone. And so we want to, with this next program that we're just starting next week, week, hit that potassic core as right. part of our drilling program. That's really the purpose of it. That's going to be 3,000 meters. That'll be all of second half of the year. And those results will most likely be out around November, December of this year. Right. So that's a really exciting opportunity for us. Really great. Besides Serbia, where are other uh, projects of yours located? So we also have two projects in Bulgaria, uh -huh. in the Rodipian region. Uh, that's another region where, again, it's very well known for porphyry and epithermal systems. Just on the south side of the border, which is Greece, uh, you know, El Dorado Gold has a number of uh, development projects that they're working on getting into production. And on the north side of the border in Bulgaria, there hasn't been as much exploration. And mm -hmm. so the opportunity there, um, you know, we picked those licenses up uh, five years ago. We've made a porphyry discovery. We have an epithermal system that we've just drilled. And so really, it's about uh, presenting that data and bringing in also a joint venture partner there. Great. Now, who are your um, investors and, and who are you meeting here at this conference that's notable for you? Oh, that's such a good question. You know, Manduro is a small cap and mm -hmm. uh, certainly it's not an institutional stock. So we really try and partner with uh, retail shareholders, family offices, because that's really the right kind of investment size. So out of our stock, you know, probably about 40% is held amongst family offices, high net worth individuals. Mm. Um, and then the other kind of 50% is retail investors uh, that just hear about the, co uh, the company through conferences like this. And then the rest is management and insiders. All right. So it's a, um, I would say, a well-diversified uh, shareholder yep. base. Yep. And would you say that right now is a good time to buy Mondero stock? Why or why not? <laughs> Absolutely, we do think it is. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason for that is is all of this drilling that is going on in the second half of this year. So right. with the Borsko discovery, uh, there's going to be 3,000 meters of drilling there. With the Zelesnik, uh discovery that we made uh, basically a year and a half ago, there's going to be fence drilling there in order to try and kind of develop a first maiden resource. And uh, certainly at six and a half million enterprise value, we think it's an excellent opportunity right, right. now at that 18 cent level. And uh, really there's limited downside mm -hmm. because we're using very little of our treasury. We're really using our partner's financial strength to invest those dollars into the ground exploration programs. And so from an investor point of view, you know, you're really having an opportunity to enter a stock at a, a low valuation with a lot of upside in the near term. All right, Tio, thank you so much. Thank you for having us.